Today we're checking out a flight data recorder that is smaller than a quarter. What? Hey guys, welcome to another video on the DJI guy. First off, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not making a video in a little while. I've been busy, but I should be back in the full swing of things. So let's go ahead and get started on our review of the Flytrex Core version 2. So the guys over at Flytrex were kind enough to send me the Flytrex Core V2 for review and they also sent me this t-shirt which I will model now. Most of you guys have probably already seen all the reviews on this guy, so I'm just going to keep it nice and quick. And um, so what the Flytrex does it is, is it records the speed, altitude, distance, and temperature and more uh, of your Phantom or other multi-rotor to, um, to a micro SD card, which is the same as the what the GoPro uses. So you can either just buy another one that you have on the GoPro or just move it over. That's what I've been doing. I just, when I don't want to record video, just plug it in the Flytrex and I have that. Or if I want to record video, the Flytrex actually has some internal memory. It has 16 megabytes, which, so just for reference, a five minute flight recorded, I think it was 80 kilobytes of data onto my SD card. So 14 megabytes should be plenty for this guy. So just a few specs on it, uh, the Flytrex Core V2 weighs 3.5 grams, it has, as I said, 16 megabytes of internal memory, and it is the size of a quarter. I don't have a quarter with me, but I do have a your standard yellow sticky notepad, probably fit 8 of those on there, so that guy's super small. And so basically what the Flytrex does is it records your data of your flight, as I mentioned previously, and you can actually check you just plug it in the computer. I don't have to show you this step, that's how easy it is. You literally plug the micro SD card into the computer and then you go onto the flytrex.com website. You make an account, it's real quick, just email and password I think and your activation code that they give you for free. And what it will do is when you log on, you just click upload flight and it will only show you the FPV, their certain file type. So it's super easy, you just click on it, click upload, it takes maybe a minute to upload. And then once you upload it, it gives you actually one thing I didn't know is it gives you, gives you the exact street address of where you're flying. So if you want to go back there or if you forgot, it's really cool. It can show you on a GPS map everywhere you've flown. And then it'll also give you a Google waypoints of your flight so you can see the exact flight line of where you were. And in addition to that, obviously, it, were, it shows you the speed, altitude, distance, and all that kind of stuff. You can buy the Flytrex Core V2 from dealers such as ATI, Motor City Drone Co, or Flytrex.com if you prefer. And you can actually just buy the cables uh, either for the Phantom or for any other multi rotor you have, so you can choose your cable. Alright, so here's the install portion of the review. So all you have to do to install is it just takes two minutes. First, you start out by unscrewing the arm screws. Then you undo the GPS cable. Thirdly, you choose the correct cable for your multi-rotor. You open the package and remove the cable. Take the cable and plug the GPS end into the GPS slot. Then plug the other end into the top of the shell. The cable should look just like this. Then push the white tip down a phantom leg hole, whichever one you want works fine. And lastly, pull it through and attach the fly tracks and you are good to go. I added uh, some tape on there just to make sure it wouldn't fall out or get dusty maybe. And that's how you install it. it. Just takes a couple minutes, not too difficult. Mostly operations you've done before, obviously, so it's super easy. So one thing I didn't know that people could use it for, and what I'm actually using it for is the FPV system that I have, I can't find an OSD that works for it, which is on-screen display. So I really can't see how high I'm getting, or how much flight time I'm getting, or my, uh, my altitude, speed of flying, distance, all that kind of stuff. 
So I actually got this $50. This is probably cheaper than most OSDs anyways. But I got this and then I don't have to have an OSD. I can just come home and say, oh, that FPV gave me 500 feet of rain. You know, something like that. So that's really great. It's $49.99 and it costs $5 to ship. I think that may just be in the US, but it could be international as well. So that pretty much wraps up the review of the Flytrex Core V2. Just this small little guy. And last but not least, I have one announcement. Some of you may have noticed on a couple of my posts in the forum, uh, but I haven't actually shown in a video. I am now selling on safemyphantom.com. I'll put the link in the description. This is, it comes in this nice box. And some of you already know what it is, but kind of feels like Christmas. Every time you open this, feels like when you got your first Phantom. And you just open this guy up. Pull it out. Gives you that nice, kind of a smell of paint a little bit, but it smells really good. And there you have it. Guys, we are selling Hydro Dipped uh, DJI Phantom 2 and Phantom 2 Vision Shells. Look at that. They, they're they cool on camera, but they're, I promise you, they are much better in person. They are $220, and that includes the matching legs and the free shipping to the U.S. So, go check that out at SaveMyPhantom.com. We also have white carbon, and we have digital camo. So, all three of those are available, and we have them in stock now, and we will ship day of order. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Review of the Flytrex Core V2 right here. And I'll uh, leave you guys with a little bit more modeling. Thank you. Bye.